Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel MP Learners. I am your instructor Mahesh Bahir and today's topic is dry running. I will show you how flowcharts are used uh, for checking test data and filling the trace table. Now let's move towards first example of dry running. You can see here a simple flowchart that has a start symbol, end symbol, input, width and length, then a processing box that is area calculation that uh, will be done using multiplication of width and length then output area value and this is the test data first one is represented as width and second one is represented by length this is the trace table in which you can see that there are two input values width length then output value will be area so area value and then final output will be shown in this box first of all you will start then it will move towards input following the arrow input is w and l that is width and length 4 is represented as width so 4 will be placed here in this box then second value is 3 that is length length will be placed in the box that is represented for length and then next is the processing box or processing of the inputs so you will multiply 4 with the value 3 that is width multiplied by length and you will get the area value that is a so 12 is obtained and it is placed in the box under a now output a output a means the value of a will be output and you can see here 12 is written in output box and then program is ended now there is another example of dry running in which a uh, somehow complex flowchart is shown in which decision making is also performed so these are the test values test data values then trace table trace table has input values m1 m2 m3 m4 then grade and then output so let's start it starting then input values m1 m2 m3 and m4 in the sequence that are 75 97 21 and 66 you will place all these values in the table under their represented columns so these values are placed and next step is the calculation of grade so sum up all the values and divide them by 4 you will get the grade value that is 65 now is grade is less than 50 you can see that grade is greater than 60 so it means it's no in the case of no it will move towards the output pass and you will write pass under output column and then end of the program now let's have a look of this example in which uh, the output will lead towards fail so starting input values 40 32 54 and 69 then calculation of grades will be done grade is 49 49 is less than grade so yes it will move towards output fail write output as fail and the program will terminate thank you for watching my video i hope you like it take care goodbye